Hey everybody, it's your crazy fan girl Shabby here because they're having an amazing day. So happy May 4th, Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you, may the force be with you. Um, last year, at this point in time, we were reacting to the finale of Clone Wars, the final episode ever, and what an episode it was. God damn, I sat there crying for a very long time, and I know that I'm probably going to be crying during this show, which is obviously we're going to be reacting to Bad Batch. Oh my god, guys, I remember when this was announced... I was so excited, but also so afraid, because obviously we got that amazing teaser. I didn't watch the trailer, so the only thing I know is stuff from the teaser. Um, so with the teaser, oh, magnificent. We didn't get too much detail, there was so much action, and just, oh, I am so excited to dive into this show, because this is sort of, I think, the grey area that they haven't really explored before, so, from what I know, so... I'm excited to be just as sort of like going into the deep end as everybody else because I love Star Wars so much, you guys know this, and I just, I cannot wait to see this part of the story because obviously this takes place, I think, the day after the Empire sort of rise up and, you know, Palpatine is all that, like, all high and mighty powerful. So, I am so excited to see all this stuff happening, whether, you know, we might see Obi-Wan maybe during the show at one point. I'm, I'm not sure, but I doubt it because we did see him, I'm pretty sure, in Rebels, but I don't think we will see him in this show, maybe? I mean, if we did, it would be pretty cool. Um, there's some other people we could potentially see, but enough of that. We're going to jump into this show. It's a very long episode, 75 minutes. So I think this is probably the longest episode we've gotten from a Clone Wars or like animated Star Wars thing. Co like, correct me on that. I know that there's Clone Wars movies. But anyway, um, this is probably going to be a two-parter. So if this suddenly stops and goes to credits of my like YouTube video, there's obviously going to be a part two. So look out for that. But anyway, um, oh, I'm so excited. So let's just jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. <laughs> Dude! Oh, that's the best thing ever. Oh. Oh, shit. So this is like... Oh my god, they're starting like in the middle of a fight. Oh, that's so... I don't know. Already I know it's gonna be emotional. Oh, yes! Oh, look at them coming through the smoke. Oh! Now, would one of you please explain where my actual reinforcements are? Rerouted to the capital. We're all you're getting. Of course they were rerouted to the capital. General Obi Wan Kenobi has found and engaged General Grievous on Utapau. Oh God! It's gonna happen soon. Separatist command structure. Oh no! Wait! I'm getting so much anxiety again. Why? It feels like PTSD. Like reliving Order sixty six again. Why do you guys have to do this? Oh God! Oh no! Shit! No! Oh no! Oh no, they're gonna kill them! Oh, she's sick! Oh no! Not again! Oh! Come on down, kid! We're here to help! What are you doing? Oh, crosshair! I've never liked Crosshair, even previously, because he was so cruel to Rex. Oh, bless Rex. Oh, no, I miss him. Um, I hated Crosshair because he made fun of, like, Rex and saying, like, you know, he's probably, like, Echo is probably dead. You know, you're following, like, a cold lead and all that stuff. And, oh, dude! Like, I always think he's, like, the bad guy, but I don't know. Maybe it's just the way he thinks, like, he has to follow orders, but it's not the same as the other clones, but he's always, like... He wants, not in the right, but he just wants to do what he has to do. And he doesn't have any emotion behind it, which makes it even worse. So, uh, I hate it. Oh, shit. It, did he? Oh, my God. Did he actually turn bad? Soldiers follow orders. Don't shoot him! 
Okay, at least you shot the tree. Oh, dude! Oh, the animation! Just oh. Hear me out. <laughs> oh, he's gonna jump! Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's such a beautiful scene. It looks like something from one of the movies. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Oh, it looks amazing. Damn. The fact that they did this as well during COVID, like, props to the team with Star Wars and Disney. They did a really good job already. <laughs> But it's different. Who's that? <gasps> oh, I thought that was. I thought that was one of the other Jedi, but that I thought of. But oh no! That's just so like. It, like, to think about it again as well, it's just so heartbreaking because you see, like, all these, like, Jedi, you know, like, it's so messed up because, they, they, like, these guys, like, tr like oh, the troopers don't understand because, like, you know, it was programmed all along. But then there's this small group who don't know what's going on and then with the Jedi, it's like... They don't even know what's going on either. They're like, why did the clones, and most of the Jedi, who obviously were very respectful and loving and kind and humane towards the clones, are so confused because it's like, what the fuck? Like, you know, like, we we, we were friends. We were comrades, you know? Like, we, we, we were, like, friends. So it's so weird. And just, like, the heartbreak and the torment that, like, us, us as an audience, we feel, but for these characters, it's so, like, oh, and the fact that, like, this is the thing as well with Star Wars, like, and I think so much of the audience think this as well, it's like, we have so much information, and then the characters don't, so we're like, oh, fuck, like, we know that something bad's gonna happen, something, like, or, like, their reactions are gonna be really bad, etc. Oh, it's so messed up, and just, like, we're playing with my heart. Okay, anyway. Oh my god, you can see the eyes! Oh, who's that? Oh, the theme! Still don't think the reds are programmed. Yeah. Oh my god! That's fucking messed up! Oh my god! Oh yeah, Hello. who is he? What's I've only seen photos of him. Uncertain. Oh, it's a girl? My name's Omega. I was wondering when you guys would come back. I thought she was a clone. I thought it was a he. Because I saw photos and I was like, oh, it's maybe a little boy. A little girl. Interesting. Oh, they're shutting the cloning down. Priorities have changed. Service conscription soldiers could provide at half the cost. Yeah, that's what I've always, like, just pausing, because I know I've been explaining this a couple of times, but at the same time, it's like, why, like, yeah, like, that's why the Stormtroopers are so shit, because they don't have the right training, and also they're not as efficient as clones, because clones, you know, like, they're, like, on target, because they've, you know, they're all technically the same person, but with different, you know, um, behavioral, um, characteristics etc um but they're all one of the s technically the same mind kind of in this situation so in a way it's interesting because they're going for a cheaper thing and it's going to be shit anyway i don't know that's so like realistic in terms of just like real life as well when they go for the cheaper thing and it ends up being a bit shittier but that's so weird like i don't know like it would have been cool if they kept the clones but at the same time it's interesting because, as we see in The Mandalorian, especially, for example, with Boba, the the remained, m remaining clones are always seen as, like, a bad thing. Like, especially with Boba, especially in the last episode of Season 2, he 
ev- that um, uh, one of the Mandalorians, I can't remember her name, but she's like, you're a clone. And like everyone sort of like is like really tense and stuff. And he's like, yeah, but I had no sort of like anything to do with the clone was. And she was like, still, it's your reminder of that time. So it's interesting. And <clears throat> um, I would like to see the effects of this in future, whether we see like people sort of getting afraid of the clones, especially like... Um, the the 99 squad like that'll be interesting but at the same time oh. the defect squad's got themselves a new recruit what the oh who threw that i did now apologize to my friends oh, maybe she's a defect as well but she came out as female <sighs> oh <laughs> Oh, Echo. Oh, Echo. Oh, he was having PTSD. Oh, no. Will their guns even do anything? They're not, they're not using rounds either. Oh, shit. Nice. Look at them go. Oh, be careful! Ah. Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was sick! Nice! That's how you get it done. Indeed. We have tracked a group of insurgents to the Onderon sector. They must be dealt with. What sort of insurgents? Separatist forces, intent on keeping the galaxy at war. If you neutralize this grave threat, you will be looked upon most favorably as I assess the needs of the Imperial Army. Shit, all right. Oh, dude. Animation needs an Academy Award, like, for best cinematography, because animation is, like, wild. And, ugh. It needs its own award show. <laughs> so that's the end of part one of the reaction for Bad Batch Episode 1 Aftermath. Um, but please stay tuned, because part two will be out very soon, and then you can check it out in the next part of the ending of the video. But anyway, for now, I'll see you guys in the next part of Bad Batch Episode 1. Crazy Fangirl out! Woo!